Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question from a developer working with Roslyn. They want to know why replacing nodes in a syntax tree changes the syntax tree options. Let's dive into this intriguing issue and see if we can shed some light on it. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. In this video, we'll explore why replacing nodes in a syntax tree using Roslyn changes the syntax tree options. Let's start by understanding the issue. When you replace a node in a syntax tree, Roslyn generates a new syntax tree. This new tree often defaults to a regular kind instead of the expected script kind. To fix this, you can use the method syntax tree .root and options. This allows you to specify the original tree's options, ensuring the new tree retains the script kind. Here's a sample code snippet demonstrating this solution. After replacing the node, we call with root and options to set the correct options. In conclusion, while it may feel like a workaround, using with root and options is the correct approach to maintain the desired syntax tree options after a node replacement. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When you replace nodes in a syntax tree, a new subtree is created. This new subtree isn't part of the original syntax tree, and when you access the syntax tree property, a new one is generated. Since the original tree is gone, the parse options can't be retained. Even if they could, it wouldn't make sense because the original tree is no longer available. Roslyn creates a new syntax tree to ensure all subtrees are contained within it. This allows Roslyn to associate diagnostics with the tree, which is helpful when using the semantic model's APIs to get semantic information for tree fragments not part of the compilation. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.